So on today's show, we're going to be unboxing over $1,000 worth of CTC books. I can't wait to open these up. Let's check them out. Everybody, welcome back and like I said today we're going to be unboxing over a thousand dollars worth of CGC books I am really excited and it's something that I have been getting into lately uh, it's something that uh, oh, how do I say this it is incredibly addictive um, a lot of people in the community warned me um, and they said it was going to be you know a very addicting type of hobby to get into I am still a noob for sure i'm still a noob in trying to figure out what i want uh, how to narrow down my focus because again just like anything else with this channel or collecting in general you want to collect everything you want to get so many things and of course that adds up financially and uh it just can drive you literally crazy so I am narrowing my focus down on what I want to collect with these books. And I'm going to talk about that throughout this video, but I can't wait to unbox these with you guys today because I'm really excited to show you what I got, okay? Let's go ahead and check that out right now. All right, guys, so here we are at the table. Let's get into these, okay? Um, I am just super, super excited. And this first one, I believe, is going to be a Signature Series one. So if you don't know anything about CGC, and again, I am a noob at this for sure, um, but CGC is basically a way to grade comic books. It is a way to preserve um, the, the condition of a comic book. And of course, these things go up in value over years. Um, the, the really old books, you know, they're very, very expensive depending on which cover. Um, and some of them are signed, some of them are not. Um, it seems like the majority of people really like 9.8. Um, that is what I'm collecting. Um, there might be some that I, do, that I go a little lower, maybe like to a 9.6, but I basically want 9.8 books. Um, of course, Jim Mint is a perfect 10. And so I probably will never get one of those. Uh, but anyway, I basically have decided that I'm going to collect covers that I love. Uh, I'm not going to get every cover. Uh, I'm going to only get covers that I love. Uh, I'm primarily, I think, going to get Joker covers because, um, I don't know, Joker's my favorite character, so why not? Uh, I'm really excited to collect those those particular things. And uh, so I'm going to be real careful here. I don't know how well it's packed inside. Um, but I feel like Joker covers are something that I can limit. Um, you know, I, don't, I, I, I just don't think I'll get too carried away that way, if that makes sense. So anyway, oh my gosh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I, I cannot tell you how excited I am for this book. Okay guys, here we go. So this one, oh, I love it. So this is one of my favorite covers and this is right here, the Batman Hush. Hopefully there's not too much glare here, but the Batman Hush and this is autographed three ways by Jim Lee, by uh, Williams, and uh, I can't remember the third. Uh, oh, uh, Alex Sinclair, Alex Sinclair. These were all signed on, uh, in 2019. So anyway, this is a 9.8. Um, it's signed in silver ink, and I absolutely adore it. I love it. So again, this is one of the signature series. You can tell that it's signature series uh, because it's got the yellow at the top. Uh, the other ones are kind of a bluish color, blue-purple. Um, but oh my gosh, I am in heaven. This is Batman 614. Ah, look at this, guys. I am so excited. Oh my gosh. <laughs> ah, I love it. The colors look great. Uh, again, it's from one of my favorite series, Hush. You know, how could you go wrong with this cover? But man, look at that thing. It is incredible. Oh my gosh. Okay, so... <laughs> I'm just so excited. Okay, all right, so here's the next one. This one, I believe, is this one is not a signature series, um, but this one I think is just covers that I like, if I remember right. I'm trying to be careful here. Obviously, I got this one off of eBay. Um, some people have said, you know, there's better ways to get these, um, I, and I'm again still new, so I'm still learning. But right now, that's where I've been getting them, is off of eBay. I'm sure I've been paying the price. Well, let's see what we get with this one. 
Drum roll, please. A lot of bubble wrap. All right. Oh, yes. Okay, so this is, again, uh, a great, great cover. Uh, one of my favorite covers. Uh, if you are familiar with Batman number 700. And, oh my gosh, this is absolutely fantastic. This is the David Finch cover, 9.8. And <laughs> it's just such a great cover. I love this. Um, this, of course, is the anniversary issue. Uh, but it's just one of my favorite covers. You guys remember from the old Batcave, I used to have a massive poster of this. Uh, I missed that. Uh, it, you know, had to be destroyed, basically, to get it off the wall. Um, but I'm so happy that this is here. Oh my gosh, so great. So great. So, oh my gosh. So look at these. Again, just <laughs> amazing covers. Oh, okay. Oh, that, I'm just so excited. Okay, so this one. CGC can be expensive, guys. Um, the, um, the Signature Series can run you anywhere from like 50 bucks all the way to you know ten thousand dollars and more uh, it really just depends on who signed it and what the cover is um, so there is a wide variety um, there is here over a thousand dollars worth of, of, of books here um, which I'm not really all that proud of <laughs> it's a lot of money but I just feel like there's gonna be a couple of books like that hush book and this one right here um, I'm probably going to get maybe five total autograph books uh, from my favorite artists. Um, I still want to get one, uh, of course, from Lee Bermejo. I really want to get one from Tim Sale. Um, there's just a couple other artists, maybe Art Germ, uh, Capullo. I have a whole bunch that I got autographed, but I didn't have a witness at the time uh, whenever I met Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo. But this is one that is on my dream list. Um, tape on this one. Let me see if I can kind of cut through it. Um, I feel like this is one of the most iconic covers of all time. Uh, this is a cover that, and they really taped this really well, sorry. Um, it was what made me fall in love with Batman as a kid, um, at least to the level I am now. Um, I have owned this book, I still own this book. Uh, the original that I owned, I still have. Uh, that might be a clue uh, to some of you. Um, but I feel like I'm doing surgery on this thing. Um, this is, again, just an absolutely iconic book. Oh, you can see the back of it. And see if this will give you a clue, guys. Right here. And bam, right there. This is the Killing Joke, first edition, 9.8, and it is autographed by Brian Boland himself. <laughs> oh, guys, I can't even tell you. This is a grail. This is a grail for me. Absolute grail. Um, between these two covers, Take this off here. A little, little protective baggie here. Whew. Between these two covers, right there, I am in heaven. So, like I said, um, an incredible start to this incredible hobby. Uh, I want to give a shout out real quick to Dan Default. Uh, you guys know Dan uh, from Wayne Manor North. Uh, he's on Rogues Gallery Live. Um, he's an instrumental part of the group and I consider him a great friend. And he sent me my very first CGC. It was the Detective Comics 1000 9.8 uh, with the Lee Bermejo cover. Um, since then I've, I've uh, purchased a couple other ones, not very many, um, but is this a new obsession of mine? Yes, it is. Um, do I have an obsessive personality? Yes. Um, but I'm not going to go too hog wild. Uh, I've promised myself that because I still, at the end of the day, would prefer to get statues. 
Um, but like I said, I, I want to get around five of these that are signed. So I've got two to start, um, and uh, I've got some more to go. And again, I'm going to collect so some of my favorite covers. I'm going to actually use them up on the walls. Uh, you're going to see that here real soon with my room tour. It's very, very soon coming. And again, just an incredible array of books today. I just can't, I couldn't wait to share it with you guys because again, I am just beyond the, beyond the moon excited uh, for these books. Again, I'm sorry for the glare. But incredible books, incredible art, incredible history of Batman. And I mean, gosh, does it get any better than David Finch right here? Does it get any better than that? I don't think so. Anyway, thank you guys so very much for watching. Um, in the comments down below, let me know if you collect CGC. Is it something that you collect? Do you collect only 9.8s? Do you collect anything? Um, also, uh, do you think I'm crazy to <laughs> be going down this rabbit hole? Because I know some of you probably think I'm extremely crazy, but I love the art. And I love that uh, you compare some of this art with the statues. I absolutely love that. But let me know your thoughts down below. I would love to hear it. Uh, let me know if you think I should keep collecting them and talking about them here on the channel. I would love to know that as well. Anyway, thank you guys so very, very much for watching. I appreciate you all. Uh, please hit that like button. Please subscribe if you're new here. That would be awesome. And also, if you want to take it one step further, hit that notification bell. And also on that, click to make sure that you're getting all notifications that way you are notified every time I put new content out there. As always, guys, thank you so very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you right here in the Batcave. Look at this. Look at that. Hey, guys, thank you so very much for watching today. It means the world to me. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button here on the screen and also click this video uh, that will be maybe of interest to you, and I hope you enjoy that one as well. But anyway, thank you guys so very much, uh, and take care.